Hello everyone, happy Friday! Um, welcome back to Mass Effect. Um, if you were here for the last episode, last episode we did our friendship quest for Rex and Garrus. Hmm, excuse me. So, sorry, it's, I've been up since like 3 in the morning, so you have to excuse me. This is why I'm sounding tired, y'all. My internal clock is like 3 in the morning. This is the time to be awake every morning. It does not matter. Weekends, weekdays, 3 in the morning, that's when we're awake. So, um, but yeah, we're just going to finish up some of the last, like, little quest go and make our way back slowly to the citadel um so that we can finish out i feel like we've we've done a lot like i don't we're not at 20 episodes yet but we have had a lot of stuff going on with mass effect um i don't know i haven't fully decided if i'm going to jump from mass effect one and go right into mass effect two maybe i'll take a little break don't know yet we'll work it out we'll see how it goes um but obviously this is going to come to a close here fairly soon so um make sure that you lcs like comment subscribe if you have not already i really appreciate it plus you'll know whenever i'm uploading um which is normally every Friday, and currently we have the Stardew Valley um, playthrough that's going up on Sundays. Um, so be sure to check that out as well. And let's get back into it. Okay, Jafar. What is this? Aladdin. Just one. I'm just here to strip planets of their resources. Mm, such a human thing to do. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, no resources we can grab. Cool. So we needed to go here to. This is part of the main quest, I think, as well. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. God, don't drop I'll the Mako. Get underneath their radar, Commander. Mm -hmm. But the Mako. He <laughs> had no other vehicle. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. So, this is us? Yeah, this is us. So we gotta go all the way down here. Cool. Why we're outside of the Mako, don't know. Just for the cutscene, I guess? I don't know. Look around. This is the first time we've been to like a, it's like a beach town or whatever. These, no, these are not enemies. What are these? Are these like little crab, little crab beings? I don't know, I guess if you don't get in their way, they won't get in ours. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse, excuse us. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, Mr. Crab. Ooh. Ooh. Not you trying to disguise as a crab. I think that's why I shot at him at first, because I thought they were those things. Yeah. 
It's like, where's it coming from? I was like, is it my high pain? Just like stuck, what happened? Can y'all not, y'all know not, y'all don't know how to get it by from behind there? Child, sometimes the squad just don't really be doing what the squad need to be doing, bro. Y'all got it? Okay. So everybody, you know how to go around the Mako now or everybody, okay. Like y'all were a little lost. <laughs> like, I was like, Where, where's anybody at? <laughs> Don't mind me and just breaking into some shit real quick. Okay. Is 
that for over here, okay. Nothing else really popping off, cool. Nerd. Park it so we can just get out of here real quick. <laughs> Alright. Everybody, everybody, y'all know how to get out? Or okay. Because Cover me! Appreciate it. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Ready to continue. On your mark, Commander Shepard. I'm like super quiet this episode. I just I just realized that. 
I'm like, I haven't been saying much. Anyway, how y'all day going? Um, I, uh, actually the day of recording this video, had finally finished my antibiotics for my ear infection that I had had. I don't know if y'all remember me telling y'all about that. But I had had an ear infection. And, um... I had, I had to finish taking like my antibiotics. I'm so glad to be up with antibiotics. First of all, they had me dry as hell. Like my feet are dry, hands, everything. And then like, I don't know if y'all were here for the last episode, but if you were not, then uh, well, you cover your ears cause you might not be ready. But I haven't had solid poop in forever. And so I'm ready to be done with this. Like I wanna just have regular poops, you know? Just regular poops because I drink a lot of water so I just want regular poops you know what I mean just regular regular poops bro that's it that's all I'm trying to do is regular regular poops Hold on, let me park. Alright. Park. I'll allow this hit space to get out of here. Oh, I'm gonna Targets down. That's it. We should be free to make our way to the cave. All right, y'all. Let's go. Let's skedaddle. I say, well, I'm not skedaddling. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be done with my antibiotics in this bitch. Well, I'm done as of today uh, that I'm recording, and the day I'm recording this. So, finally. So I've been feeling better, like, but, Commander, you know how it is. touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when we get here. So this is all the crazy shit I've been doing. They're like, nah, this bitch got out of control. There go the Solarians. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. 
They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Oh. Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the Genophage. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. Nope. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Oof. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. Looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Just drop it. He'll be fine. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. Uh, I'm glad they cut out her talking, because I don't, I don't really want to say what she got to say, I'll be honest. I mean, if people set a genophage to make you not have any more children and only one in 1,000 of them, or I think it's more than that, but can is a viable thing, I think you'd be pretty pissed too. I trust her. Like, y'all aren't, y'all aren't about to do my man Rex like this, bro. Y'all really aren't. This is what we not gonna do. Greetings, human. Y'all are I not about to do my man Rex like I this. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Let me see what you have. What little there is. I don't really care. I just actually wanted to get that. Tyrion. I mean, we can buy it. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> y'all really know how to do my man works like this. I just feel like y'all gotta like realize if it was y'all, would, wouldn't y'all be mad? Like, that man's allowed to be mad. I would be. I'm mad for him. I'm like, damn, sir, you gonna say it right in front of, like, a Krogan? Like, you was bold to say that shit in the first place, my guy, like... I've been on this mission far too long. My group... <sighs> Rex, y'all. Y'all can't just be doing my mans like this, bro. He just want his people to survive, dog. So ain't that what everybody want? Ain't that what everybody want? Alright, I'm gonna go talk to him. Oh, God. That was so dramatic. The man is fine. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. I shouldn't have to explain that to you, Rex. Indulge me. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren, tools. Is that what you want for them? No, we were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. 
All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Oh god, I got paragon points and I didn't mean to. But it's Rex though, bro. Like, I feel like, I mean, I could have gone full renegade. He probably was, it would have had the same outcome, but like, we're friends, bro. Like, I got a soft spot for Rex, y'all. Rex is my dog. That's my homie. Like, that's why I'm like, y'all not about to talk about my mans like this. Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. Look, Rex just needs to know that somebody understands him. Why are y'all surprised? See, this is this is the problem. This right here is the problem. Like, y'all just think it's all knocking heads and shit. And it's like, motherfuckers got brains. Like, they can be reasoned with. You just gotta know how to talk to a motherfucker. Like, damn. It's really not hard. Like, y'all piss me off. Like, all of y'all have pissed me off. <laughs> Every last one of y'all. Like, cause like... How would you feel? You know what I mean? Like, of course you're gonna feel conflicted. Like, I would, uh, uh, high key, I would like, I, I'd slide it to him, honestly. Like, I'd be like, you didn't get this from me, big dog, and just slide it right on over. Cause like, what's gonna happen? It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. These Solarians seem pretty tough. I just hope they hold up under pressure. They're a little lanky for my taste. With all these defenses, Saren must be hiding something big. I mean, he's hiding the cure for the Krogans, and I want to get it and slide it to Rex, unbeknownst to y'all. Thank you, Talia. At least somebody got some reason. I feel like Talia isn't as, as bad as everybody else. Like, y'all really trying to have some moral high ground over Rex? Like, Rex is just doing what Rex do, bro. Oh, I guess we gotta talk. We gotta talk to the captain, dude, right? Okay. Rex gonna do what Rex do, like you know, he get fired up about his peeps. Bro. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a twenty kiloton ordnance, crude but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. We won't be able to meet their force head on. Definitely not. But I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. I just hope you survive long enough to be useful. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. But Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? But is this the one where we have like we either save Ashley or Caden? Nah, bro. Wait a minute. Nope. I'm gonna do some research because what y'all are not about to do, y'all are not about to have. No, nope, no. I need y'all. Y'all know I've been waiting on this day, right? Waiting on this day. So just give me a second. Okay. Uh. Hmm. 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 Yes, I'm googling shit. Don't, don't even. Uh, all right. Okay. Hmm. You can only say one of the.
Okay. Hold on now. Okay. Okay, so right now it doesn't matter, but later on it does. So, okay. I just want to make sure, because y'all know I've been waiting for all my life. I pray for someone like you. I think I. Na -na, na -na 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 -na. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's probably gonna be really loud for y'all. I'm gonna try and turn it down. Alright, um. Is this for us to take them or what? I don't, I don't. Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Okay. Alenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple. Understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Because we know Ashley questions don't questions really like... Y'all know Ashley's a little, a little space racist, right? Like, I don't think she really... You know, I, I don't think she's really prepared. She don't really know how to talk to people. Caden can, can talk to people, right? Also, this decision doesn't matter. But, like, if we, if we want to be honest... If we're looking at it from a tactical perspective, because as much as I don't want to bring Ashley with me, Caden is the better option because Caden has a little bit more, he's a little bit more charismatic in the sense that like, he knows when to shut the fuck up. Know what I mean? Y'all know, y'all know what I'm saying, right? Like y'all, y'all pick up what I'm, what I'm laying down here for you. Y'all understand. Okay. Um, let's, let's. The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. Right. Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Love that. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Okay. Let's go, y'all. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Let's go. Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. It's a dangerous situation. Keep your eyes open and be ready for anything. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. 
our influence will stop Starin. In the battle today, we will hold the line. That was great, actually. Good luck, Commander. I really I wish y'all would be more enthusiastic end. because I I felt that like I'm ready to get my ass in gear. You know what I mean? Like, do we bring Rex? That is like a big question to me because I feel like. Like, I feel like that might be a lot. Do we bring Rex on this mission, bro? Like, I... I'm nervous. <laughs> because I feel like we should bring him. Like, I feel like he would appreciate being there. But I also feel like... I don't know. You know what I mean? Like... Mm. I feel like we should bring Liara. Because I feel like Liara is... Um, like I feel like this would be good for her and I do feel like we should bring Rex though like I really do because I feel like he'll have more of a personal stake in getting Saren if he sees like what's going on plus I also kind of want to slide him the cure kind of thing you know what I mean like I kind of want to slide some bits and pieces of stuff so he can you know what I mean because Rex isn't like like, yes, Rex gets upset, but he's not as hot-headed as, like, Ashley. Like, let's be honest, right? Like, Rex kind of has a cool head. For for a um, Krogan, he's got a pretty cool head on his shoulders. So I feel like he could get through this and be okay. Like, he's seen worse. He's killed Krogan's, like. But I feel like we should take him. Because I feel like there's stuff there that he might be able to get. Like, I know, like, at the end of the day, the game's gonna play out, the game's gonna play out, it doesn't matter if he goes or not, but, like, I feel like storylines <laughs> from a story. <sighs> Take Rex, go. Hmm. So, who we gonna take? I feel like, yes. Yeah. feel like yes how are we feeling about this team like some of y'all are probably like no take me you know i don't know let's let's do this let's is that it wait can we take anybody else no that's right just take two okay this. okay let's do this i guess Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Okay. Hold on a second. Let's get everybody leveled up.
figured something scrambled their target. We've got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off Man of Eye. Where we came from? I think so, right? That's where we came from. What's this? So this is just a dead end. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, we are back. Okay, this is where we started. Okay. So the music was like, Bleh. Sat strikes. Jado, watch for comm stations. Alenko, can you see anything? Taking them hits, bro.
sniper sniper spot. Or it would be if there were more enemies around. Disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Fuck. <laughs> Honestly, I just want to murder. XP points, boy. Hello? Is someone out there? Place is a 
fucking maze, bro. And this music is so intense right now. Like... Doesn't help that I'm getting like so turned around too, like it's all lead to the same shit. Oh, this is to down here. Okay. Interesting. I guess we have to take the elevator then. Well, I don't know. I think there were more doors on the outside of this, but I don't... I don't know, bro. Let's go. Damn it. It's the music, bro. It's so intense. Hold on, y'all. Correct, nerd. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Let's hear it. Who are you and what do you want? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you do not even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. Okay. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetected. The music is so there. distracting. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. 
Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Silurian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? We need to know this. Sovereign signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think... He's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Mm. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom the subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Okay. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you wanna make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Oh! <laughs> I know, Rex. Ooh, I brought you. <laughs> I surprisingly, I didn't uh, interact with her more, but I mean, I guess she was like, fuck that bitch. <laughs> I was hoping she'd have, um, you know, like as a fellow scientist or whatever. I'm not gonna lie, Shepard's butt looks great in that, uh, in this, in this uniform. I do say so myself. I don't, this feels a little... This, isn't this like the beacon? This is a place of evil. It needs to be destroyed. Next. Saren needs to pay for what he's done to my people. Yes. Uh, see, I knew we needed to bring him. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind. Fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I do not think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper? A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You could not have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident, 
Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's gonna fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance. And at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. What I don't understand. Okay, I'm sorry. So he's like, oh, when they advance, then they're extinguished. But it's like, are you worried that they could advance and wipe you out and that's why you extinguish them because then in that case you're not the pinnacle of evolution because then organics would be the pinnacle of evolution because they would be building technology that is greater than yours i don't know um sure why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. They are harvesting us. Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. Where did you come from? Who built you? has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. My thing is... Right. He's saying like, oh, we're all powerful and like we will live beyond your years. So like, why even bother? You know what I mean? Like, it's like, so why even bother messing with us or worrying about us or eradicating us for anything? Because I'm like, I feel like the eradication has to do with when organic beings get closer to the answers and the answers also probably reveal your actual weakness because why even worry about it like if you're going to be infinite and you're there's no beginning and there's no end then there would be no reason for you to eradicate mankind or like organic kind i guess would technically be the term because you would outlast them anyway you know what I'm saying? Like, are y'all picking it up? Like, I I don't understand. Like, if we're so insignificant, then why are you here? Right? Like, it's like, it's, it's an inflated sense of self in this option. Because it's like, at the end of the day, if you're so great and powerful, then like, you don't... My thing is, I don't even think they know why they're here. They just do the thing that they do because that's all they've been... Um, that's all they've been designed to do is to destroy civilization at a point where or destroy organic civilizations at a point where they reach a certain level of understanding probably about the reapers honestly because it's like if it's insignificant and we don't matter then you wouldn't care about 
what advancements organics are making unless there's advancements and things that they're going to be learning that could potentially eradicate you then you're not all powerful and you're not the end there is no there is an end and there was a beginning and you are finite right like that's what i'm picking up it's just not the math isn't mathing correctly because i'm like if it's a sense of like it's an inflated sense of superiority i feel like because it's like clearly the parothians were close to something that probably would have potentially been able to destroy the reapers or fight against them and that's why y'all eradicate organics that makes sense like am i am i making sense to y'all like you're not even alive not really you're just a machine and machines can be broken your words are as empty as your future i am the vanguard of your destruction this exchange is over oh he broke some glass commander we got trouble Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console is no longer functioning. Ideas, Commander Shepard? Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. Why are you running scared, Sovereign? I thought you was all paranoid. I can do all this. See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? Cause like you wouldn't even, it wouldn't even, you wouldn't even be coming for me. Because why are you coming for me? You're infinite. You're a legion. Remember? Remember all that shit you was talking? Why are you running into my bullets? I don't, I don't, I don't know where the fuck I'm at, yo. Team of Age Labs, okay. So I need to go down there. This way? Oh no. Oh, the bridge has been, okay. Okay, sorry about that. I actually ended up, uh, we disabled the turret and our favorite four-year-old is up and at it. <laughs> That's the gun. We need to clear those gas and get the charges set. The 
charges are set and ready. Everybody get low and keep your heads down. Oh. Oh, all right! Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Y'all, y'all already say bye to Ashley. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. Okay. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've He's taken heavy ready. casualties. Captain Kira, he's dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. So everything is hold high. tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold him as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. Still bringing Rex, bro. Let's bring Gears. I think Tali's ready for this kind of thing. Okay. So where where are we going? Oh my god. Ooh, let's level here, so let's go. <sighs> Turn gears, work it out, work out, work out the muscles. This was always predestined to be Ashley that's gotta go, bro. <laughs> Y'all already knew what I was gonna pick by the time we got here. You already know what's going to happen here. Like, I don't, I don't need to preface this with anything because we haven't even really been using Ashley like that. She probably got so many points that need to be distributed that it's ridiculous. Also, Caden and the personal debriefings need to continue for the sake of the channel. So. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA tower. Yes, Commander. I, I, you know it's the right choice, LT. Stay alive. 
I'll be coming to get you too, Ash. I think we both know that's not gonna happen, Commander. Fuck. Well. Whip. To be fair, it does make more sense for Ashley because of the fact that she just has a soldier mentality. Not to be like... Diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power, even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're like every other poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign can use, then cast aside. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own, for now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. That's but as tools, a they are useful. Study they will survive the coming invasion. Like if organic like life that. is to survive, oh, we must also really prove cool. we are useful. We must it's work it's with the Reapers. I mean, technically organic life does prove that it's useful because it makes advancements yeah, yeah. on the things that they've left behind, yeah, so... Nah, bruh, you, you indoctrinated Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. I think technically Shepard is too. No, Sovereign needs me. 
If I find the contour, you sound just like how you're calling the guest. Inevitable. This is my only hope. Don't you see? You are just a tool. Sovereign is using you. In the end, you'll be tossed aside with all the rest. Do you think you can sway me, Shepard? Do you think I haven't already thought of this? Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. I mean, there is, so... I'm not like you. I'd rather wow. die by than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and Bro, machines. He really believes and in I should doing too. so, I will save more <laughs> lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Everybody, hang on! Okay, let's switch it. Still, I can't didn't make it. I can. How could we just leave her down there? We had to leave her behind. Saren has to be stopped at any cost. But why me? Why not her? It wasn't your call, Alenko. I had to choose. Uh -oh. <laughs> I chose you. Okay. That was okay. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. It's Williams good. is dead. Now we can't we change that. But if we ground. don't stop Saren, her sacrifice now. was made in vain. Yes, ma'am. Like we'll get it done. Yeah, Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but it's I have an idea. Awesome. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have Soldiers filled die, in the missing bro. pieces it's of your free. vision. I might be able to help it's you put free. all those pieces together. Perfect. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace yes. eternity! Yes. The images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. You don't know what it is in the color, is it? That's right. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. 
A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? True. Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduits on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him yeah. when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the council. We need a fleet to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chalkwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't. Oh, I don't know where the super is. We're done is. here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know to warn them about Sovereign. All right. Mm. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. I hope you don't plan to cut us off like last time, Commander. What you discovered on Vermeer is too important. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably this is saw your earlier you. reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Ah, uh, looks like we lost the signal, Joker. Understood, Commander. And then y'all wonder why I don't talk to y'all. This is why. This is why I don't talk to y'all. Oh, they want to get the Where is it? I'm thinking right. because of Yes, Commander. Uh, Anything? Yes. Well, I don't think Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Uh, like, this is why, why y'all get hung up on all the time. Because y'all don't, y'all don't take nothing serious. Okay. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. There was no other choice. The mission is more important than one soldier. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. All right, let's go check on the crew. I mean, sure, I'm a psychopath, but like, you know, people got feelings and shit. <laughs> All right, let's get down here. Her spot's gonna be empty, so. Just, yep, it's Ashley's desk right there. She always was on this computer. Checking out the weapons, making sure everything was good, cleaning the guns. You know, it'd be that way sometimes. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Oh, we will, Rex. Saren has to pay for what he's done. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. 
Okay. So long, Rex. Shepard. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. Still, I find the loss of Captain Kirahi troubling. But I won't blame you. I know you lost one of your own as well. Chief Williams knew the risks. So did your captain. That doesn't console me. Our unit will feel the loss of the captain in ways that will be impossible to measure. The mission was a success. That will have to be enough. We won't trouble you for long. Our unit will be disbanded as soon as we depart. Good luck, Commander Shepard. It be that way sometimes, big dog, is all I'm saying. It's war. <sighs> Unfortunately. It just sucks, bro. Sucks that y'all like to Ashley. Do you need something? Mm -hmm. No, she ain't gonna know about it. I doubt I can tell you. All I know is the story of their origin. Like what? Okay. I should go. Yeah, she didn't. See you later. I mean, she was there, but she wasn't like an integral part of the mission. So I need to start bringing Tally more places because I really stunt. I'm really stunt her growth here. Come in. I wanted to thank you. Okay. Well, four girls. I've thought about what you said. You were right about Dr. Saley. This way, we'll know he'll never hurt anyone again. I'm glad you see it, though. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Okay, so he didn't have anything to add. He was like, fuck Ashley, too. Cool. <laughs> like... <laughs> he was like, I mean, I was wondering why she made it this long. No. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing, y'all. I don't really mean it. I don't really mean it. Yes, Commander? Is there anything? something you need? No, she I mean. should go. Goodbye, yeah. Commander. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Alliance medical personnel take courses in alien biology, just in case. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's the last person I'd feel sorry for. He's trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? I don't think we will know, honestly. I mean, because it could have been either or. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. Then let us talk about you. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. You do not have to put on a brave face for me, Commander. This crew relies on you for leadership. It can be a heavy burden. I've got broad shoulders. I have no doubt about that. But can they carry the weight of an entire galaxy? If we don't stop Saren... All right, no, let's go! Never mind. I'm sorry, Commander. The last thing you need is someone constantly reminding you of how grim things are. It's okay, is there they anything are. else you would rather talk about? You're just trying to make sure we keep it in perspective, I and I appreciate that, Goodbye, honestly. Like, she's like, shit is real out here. I'm sorry I keep bringing it up, but it is. And you know what? She right. Shit is real out here, and she can bring it up as much as she wants because it's fucking real. Alright, let's go talk to this guy who's sad. Anything you need, Commander? I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. <coughs> dealing, ma'am. Sorry for anything I said back there. Every one of us is expendable if it accomplishes the mission. Ash, you, me. I understand. It's just, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses of Dorothy? We well, accept well, death when we put on the uniform, Lieutenant. If you can't deal with that, retire. I'm in for the duration, Commander. No worries about that. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? 
I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal <laughs> briefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe? Anything so old, so intelligent. We may be ants to them, but humans have never managed to exterminate ants. It makes you wonder. Are ants any more aware than we were? The giants that walk over the ants. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Okay. So we kind of want everybody. Uh, most people are like, you know, that's life. Caden's struggling a little bit because it was him or her kind of thing. So it's understandable for him to struggle with that. Uh, the council's still the council. They're still a bunch of bitches. We don't fuck with them. Anyway, that we're going to end the episode here. We got hit a big plot point. Um, so now... We have a few things to just tie up, some loose ends. Don't know where we'll find all this stuff. Most of it's just like across the galaxy, I guess. Um. Earth's moon. So. Yeah, we have a few. A few of these missions we can probably do. And, um. And then that, that'll be, that'll be that. Um, but yes, thank you for watching. Um, next episode, we'll try and tie up any more of the loose ends that we have, some of the side missions. So next episode will be a little bit more chill because this one was a lot. We had to make life or death decisions today. Um, so we're just going to be going on a trip on our favorite rocket ship next episode for a little of a reprieve from the crazy ass life changing decisions that we have to make so um make sure that you lcs like comment subscribe if you have not already and i will see you guys in the next one love ya bye